Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to our Vigs adventure. My name is Cynthia and today we're gonna do my favorite video of the week. What's on my crochet hook? Yes, that's right. It is time to review everything that I crocheted this week. I had a wonderful time crocheting as always. As always, who am I kidding? If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you, so consider subscribing if you're down for the adventures of an almost 50-year-old lady who likes to crochet and loves to cook gluten-free for two of an empty nester, and just join me in the crazy adventure that is our Biggs adventure. If you're returning to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Now press that like button and let's find out what I've been working on. This week, I tried a pattern by Dearest Debbie. It, I was looking for a butterfly pattern because in Florida, the yellow sulfur butterflies are starting to pop out. It's been so warm and I, I love a yellow sulfur butterfly. You usually see them in twos and they're dancing and they're just so pretty and I love them. <laughs> so I was looking for a butterfly crochet granny square to do this week. And this is what I found. So you can kind of see an abstract butterfly right here. Am I in love with this pattern? No, I am not. And did I find the video instruction awesome? Also no. Did I enjoy the pattern? Not really. The video to me, this is what the back looks like. And honestly, I think the back actually might be prettier than the front. I don't know, something happened right here, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, here's, here's the dealio. It was just weird. It was just weird. Um, her camera was out of focus at some points. It just, I didn't, I didn't like it. Anyway, it's done. Will I make another one? No, I will not. No, I'm gonna find a different butterfly maybe for next week or just move on. I definitely kept saying to myself, I miss Nadia from Yarn Utopia. The, the more complicated rounds, she would show you once and be like, that's a repeat and cut. It was, it was not my favorite. It came out, I mean, it came out acceptable. This, you had to do some kind of, I don't know. No, don't recommend. I'm not gonna put a link either. I just didn't. I didn't enjoy it, but it's done and um, it will make a great addition to the granny square blanket that I'm working on because the colors are bright and cheerful and yeah, whatever. Sometimes life just gives you lemons and then other times, you know, you, you get a winner. This, not so much. It's time for my favorite part of the week. keeping all of my scraps from this year in this jar. Update on the crochet for the homeless. Why did you go off? Why are you so hot? Update on my crochet for the homeless. I will link my yarn haul video here in the eye in the sky. This is Wintuck yarn. I scoured the internet to find out where this stuff came from. As far as I can tell, this came from Sears and it was produced by Karen Brand Yarn, and I, I love working with it. For me, it's very much like Red Heart Super Saver. This is the navy blue that I've been working with this week, and I have the beginnings of a scarf. This is just gonna be a plain navy blue scarf. The gray scarf is finished, I'll show you that. Gray scarf is finished. Didn't that come out lovely and warm? Oh my gosh. So all, this, all the projects that I'm doing are with a 5.75 millimeter crochet hook. It's a J. Um, so this came out really, really pretty. It's about six feet long by six, six-ish inches wide. Um, so it's just literally a double crochet repeat. I like to do these while I'm in my recovery meetings, like I'm listening and, you know, crocheting away. It's great to keep my hands busy. I like to do this while we watch movies or television because I don't really have to think about it. There's no counting, you just roll with it. So the gray scarf is done. I have one. I'd like to do 10 this year. Last year I did 20, but I wasn't doing the granny square project. I don't, I don't know what will happen. If you'd like to make a scarf for the homeless, please DM me on Instagram 
our bigs adventure all one word crammed together on instagram i'd love to have you come over and follow me over there and let's do something awesome for the homeless so this is the navy blue i'm hoping maybe fingers crossed to have this done not next weekend but the weekend after i don't really know i don't know what will happen so we've got this we've got this finished yay and we've got this weird butterfly thing i don't know yep it, it's pretty and bright and i'm sure that if no one knows that it's a butterfly they'll still enjoy the colors of it and you know think that it's a pretty little square did you say you wanted to see my outfit? Well, of course. Let's start with the hair. Here's my hair for today. I love how the stark contrast in the back is like black and then super white. So loving that. Hopefully you got to see it. I don't really know. And my little braid. Okay, earrings. I made these earrings out of some beads that I had in my stash. And then this dress is actually going to be part of another video where I show you guys a thrift store haul. I went to the thrift store with my son in December and I just now am unpacking all of the cool dresses that I got at the thrift store when I went with him. <laughs> so here's the outfit of the day. I'm just wearing like a black flat. It's like a black velvet flats. And I like this sweater with it. So I can wear it without the sweater. The air conditioning where I work is always super cold. Everyone in my office is always on fire hot and they're dying and I freeze to death. So I always like to have a sweater with me to keep the AC off of my shoulders. If you don't have Instagram, you can always email me at ourbigsadventure at yahoo.com. All crammed together, ourbigsadventure at yahoo.com. My email address is down below. And all of the information for Bridge and Beyond, which is the charity that I work with for crochet scarves, is also in the description box down below. My community is in the comments. Yes, it is. I would love to have you leave me a comment. I do reply to every single one. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And remember everybody, enjoy your journey. Bye-bye.